Hello friends, thank you for joining me again today. We are back to playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Okay, so last time we finished the ice cap and uh, we are heading essentially through this entire section. Now the story goes is that um, uh, boo, I'll just turn into supersonic and then I'll be able to just tear through everything and then tell you. Um, so the story goes is that uh, the death egg in the previous game was um, rebuilt. And so this is the part where um, they're trying, or Eggman's trying to essentially send it back into space. And um, you can tell kind of because it's in the background and, and stuff like that. So, um, but something happens. And then um, after that, it continues right into the next half of the game. So, and then uh, it's essentially the same kind of thing. Uh, he's he's trying to launch it back into space. So, this uh, is probably one of my, f this is probably, uh, if I can get up here. This is probably my favorite um, Sega Genesis, like, so Sonic game, I guess you could say. That's That was a really dumb comment, because Sonic's always on Sega Genesis. <laughs> on Sega Genesis. Uh, oh well. That's okay. Anyway, so, um, I hope you like uh, this lighting that I've done. I have a my my best friends helped me um set it up and stuff like that and you will see them um you will be seeing them very soon um uh, sorry this episode is so late it's like stupid crazy amount of days late like uh i've just i've had so much i've been experiencing and i got a nintendo switch yes i know i'm excited too like <gasps> Oh, I got one. I literally feel like I ensnared a unicorn and then, um, like, captured it and now I'm, like, making a wish upon the unicorn. I don't know if it's going to give me frozen yogurt or not, but we will find out. Um, <laughs> and so, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy comes out very soon. Um, this coming week, I want to say, or, um, this week in general. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's not good. My battery is dying. This is really bad. So I'll probably have to continue when my battery's dead. That's going to be fun. Um, professionalism. Ah. And I didn't run out of rings. Yeah, my, my battery didn't totally die or anything like that. Um, and I didn't run out of rings while I was trying to essentially set my camera back up. No, so we're just going to jump back right into it. And um, yeah. Ah. Okay. I don't know where I need to go. Ah. Where am I supposed to go? This is dangerous. It's I'm, I have like a target on my head or whatever. Where am I supposed to supposed to go? Okay, there we go. Okay. I think I'm still in Act One. I got super distracted. All right, there's Knuckles, and he's like me. <laughs> I'm Knuckles now. He just, he makes everything so unnecessarily difficult. Um, and Sonic's just like, hurry. He's like, hurry up. I'm gonna get you. So this guy is, um, bleh. He's not, uh, super hard. You just gotta, ooh, just gotta time it just right. And not die. Not die with like uh, no rings. I wonder what all those 
like that entire structure is back there. I wonder if uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, if the world has like its own kind of metal and minerals and stuff like that. I'm dead. <sighs> Whoa, I have to be super careful. Thankfully, he's only got the one arm. Uh, blah. <laughs> okay, so I bait that guy. I don't. I wish I knew the names of these robots. I probably should look them up, and that way I'd be like, "That's that guy." Uh, that way I'm not just be like, "Oh yeah, it's the one with like the swirly arms." Okay, so we're going back. We're in Act Two, which has water, which I don't understand why Act One doesn't have water. Um, maybe it's because uh, Act Two is much lower I don't know the thing about um, the thing about uh, what was I gonna blah the thing um, oh I remember what I was gonna say the thing about uh, the, this particular game and like the Sonic series is um, there's supposed to be progression um, in means of like traveling further back uh, like into the background and stuff like that so uh, possibly what's been going on like uh, so, oop, I turned into Super Sonic by accident I totally even forgot that uh, for a second there that uh, I could become Super Sonic that's why I was, wasn't like oh yeah bam Whee! I hope you're having a great day. Um, it's the weekend for me. And I have too much to do. Unfortunately. But it's okay. Because you're here. Having a time. Having, bleh, having a time. Having a good time. Hopefully. We. I hope you're excited about whatever games that you get to play and experience too. I mean share whatever you're excited about and uh, whatever you want to experience and play and stuff that's really awesome you can find some really cool people uh, when you find like-minded people and stuff like that it's uh it's what helps build a supportive kind of community um, I'm still kind of searching for my audience most of my audience is uh, really awesome friends of mine and I really appreciate their viewership even if they don't always watch <laughs> uh, but that's okay we so I've had a I've, I've I've had everything my my day or my month has essentially been um, a combination of uh, nightmarish and <laughs> nightmarish and uh, amazing so it's like, uh, it's like, I'm, uh, it's like, uh, night, night, amazing. <laughs> it's a, it's an amazing nightmare, I guess. There's this thing where I don't know why, but I keep like making new words by combining words. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if I'm trying to save time or... I'm like having some sort. Yeah, he, he's he's he ain't anything. That is one of the coolest things in the Sonic series is to like ride uh, Eggman's like Eggmobile or whatever. And then there there goes Knuckles, ah! and there goes the Death Egg soaring into the sky. Um. Yeah, it's, it starts getting pretty intense. You would think that Knuckles would be no more after that because he's essentially falling and he would be uh, burned from the thrusters. But that's not the case. Because he will return in the next game. Or the next half of the game. You'll see. You already know. Knuckles is... I mean, he's everywhere. Uh, 
All right, so this thing, um, it's it's a pretty cool boss. I really like this boss. Oh, oh. Um, this is one of my more favorite bosses. And then there's another one that's later on. I always thought that white beam that he shot is like ice. Because like, uh, I don't know if it's because of, um, like ice cap zone or whatever, but I thought that was the case. So what happened was, is we defeat him and then this falls down. Like this starts drifting away. And as this is drifting away, you get to see what happens. The launch failed. So there goes the death egg and it's going crashing completely down at this point. And uh, we're essentially following it. And now Mushroom Hill is the beginning of the other half of the game. Thank you, Tails. I, I can't get him. But um, so this is where Sonic and Knuckles would usually start. And there's Knuckles. He's like, oh, oh, what's that? Boom. So there's there's a secret in there. So, but we're not gonna find out what that secret is right now. We're gonna kind of move on. That'll be something for a bit later on. Um. In the meantime, we are going to experience the awesomeness that is Mushroom Hill. And usually, I would. Oh, we. Usually, I would cut it off at uh, launch base but this is going to be a special episode because it's going to be longer and i'm going to have <laughs> i'm going to have uh two st stages um both halves i may do three i don't know um in this episode so it's going to be longer and that way you know you can just kind of experience it and everything like that Wee! Yeah, there, there's the special rings are different. The special stage rings, they're all different colors. There's, there's a reason for that, but we'll find that out later. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, though, we will navigate through this awesomely designed level. I actually, I, yeah, I played. Sonic and Knuckles before Sonic 3, believe it or not. I played it at a friend's house, and I was like, this is so awesome. Oh, back to Super Sonic. Do, 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 do. Wee. So this guy is, uh... I don't know what his creation and like his purpose would be. I know he's he exists to kind of stop Sonic, but like, I mean, what's his his practical use? Is he chopping wood for like um, a specific kind of reason? Is he just like chopping stuff down for fuel? We don't know. Oh, there's Knuckles again. Oh no. You jerk. I love this part because it's like it transitions. It's one of the only levels, I think, that it uh, has a transition to like a, a different season. Because it looks, it, it looks very autumn. Like very much like, you know, autumn-y. That's not a word, but that's what I'm going to just kind of stick with. Autumn, I don't know, autumn-esque? What would you, what word would you use to describe something that looks like, uh, it has an autumn aesthetic? Would you just say it has an autumn aesthetic? I hate this chicken. It, he blo he blows you away. He can't when I'm supersonic though. I will mess that chicken up. I will end that chicken. Well. Oh, apparently he can still, like, blow me or whatever. Uh, 
we and then it, it transitions to, into like this entire section which looks again it looks like summer kind of oh, do not want to go in there not yet yeah I think I'm gonna keep going and I'll do like another two stages we that way the episodes will essentially uh, I'll make up essentially for the episodes that I didn't post I'm gonna get you <laughs> that was so sad <laughs> like supersonic makes everything not a threat because he's just like I'm gonna mess you up And I love this about uh, the game series is like these transitions into the next section with like these little cutscenes and stuff. This is one of my favorite levels too. It has some awesome music. Yeah, flying battery zone. I don't know what if this would essentially be a battery for. Or if it's just like a, a beta fortress or something. This stage is also, if you don't know, um, it's uh, being remade in Sonic Mania. Ouch. And it looks phenomenal. Whee! Did I just, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. I was like, am I going to just, like, boost off the edge? And that's exactly what happened. Whee! There's a lot of traps and stuff in here. I, I kind of sometimes picture Eggman. He's just kind of sitting at his screen and he's just like, -ha 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 -ha. but as I'm like tearing everything, he's like, uh, or he's like really disappointed. He's like, oh, I, I should have, I knew I should have added that. I knew I should have added like the electric fence mm -hmm. where as soon as he stepped through the door, he'd be electrocuted. So he's kind of like, He's just kind of sitting and waiting to see if everything kills me. And then he's just constantly disappointed by the fact of that that's not what happens. <laughs> he's just like, ah, damn it. Damn it, Sonic. We. Um, ba 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 ba. We. Nur. I don't know what these things are. I don't know if they're just kind of like a design thing or if they have like some sort of magnetism. Like uh, they're being drawn towards stuff. Uh -huh. oh, back to supersonic. Whee! Nothing can hurt me. I wonder what like makes the Chaos Emeralds like powerful what is inside them to give them such strength and power is it just were they like harnessed or harnessed harnessed <laughs> were they harnessed in like the a volcano of their world or the underground and like it's powerful because of the fact that it has like ancient spirits in each one or something like that i wonder maybe sega will reveal that like the secret behind the Chaos Emeralds, the Deus Ex Machina, Deus, as I can't speak, Deus Ex Machina of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, I can't, apparently just, I killed myself. Did you see that? I just, I just killed myself. I was too fast and I squished myself. Of course you saw it. You were there. You're like, Casper, I've been here the whole time. Watching you fumble about. Uh, uh, uh. 
I just want to get up here. Urgh. There we go. No, that's not it. I wonder if those are like made out of plastic or metal or what. Looks like a lot of this is made out of metal. Whee! Alright, um, let's see. Um, ah, oh, 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 and over here, over here. Um, uh, need to get up here. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, this part, uh, when I first got here, I was like, I'm completely trapped. What do I do? And then I found out that all I essentially have to do is just move out of the way and then it kind of blows itself up. I always thought that that was really kind of cool. Well, I'm really slow running through this. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's like it's Sonic in slow motion, which is... This is a super awesome boss, too. Because, like, you, you get to the end and you think, Oh, yeah, well, this is the end. And there's no boss. Mm -hmm. And then it totally surprises you because, like, this is the boss. Like... Where you think you would essentially free the animals and stuff. It took me forever to figure out how to hurt him too. Because I was like, how do I do that? And you get all the animals that are essentially freed. It was just, a, that was a really awesome, clever design for a boss. Yeah. Beat Act 1 of Flying Battery. And we will be continuing into Act 2. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, have this a really long episode, which if I can get my butt out of here, will make up for the three days that I essentially did not exist. Um, the oh, really awesome thing is like each uh, act, act one and act two of Sonic 3 Knuckles has uh, a remix of the song. So this one is like way more intense. It's like, uh, ooh, it's, I essentially just spin dash into spikes. Um, let's see, go over here. Go over here. I need to uh, look into getting uh, possibly another microphone uh, before I have my buddies joining and stuff like that or um i mean we can try and all squish together and share that microphone that's kind of that's kind of the plan so far um until we can get an, another one or two. Oh, that's right i forgot about this so this is like an awesome secret area thing if you stand there long enough it takes a minute before it comes back so you can go up here and i forget what's up here Uh, go over here. Wee! I was like, oh yeah, these things. These are really cool too. They also add just like so much more speed to everything. I'm just gonna grab this invincibility and then just head on out of here. Wee! I used to be able to turn into supersonic when I was invincible on the Genesis game and I would have like awesome stars flying around me but that's not what's going on for some reason. Whee! I could be wrong. But yeah, what what it causes what is inside the Chaos Emeralds that makes them so powerful? These are the questions I have for Sega. Uh, were they crafted? 
Were they specifically, were they like the Dragon Balls? Were they specifically crafted and stuff like that to have magical power energy? All right, we got to fight this guy. He's not too hard, especially a supersonic and he just jump and that's it. Bam. 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 The ironic thing is like, it takes a while. Cause he's got to, he's got to narrow it further and further and further. I don't think I'm actually doing any damage. I think I'm just like, that's just for visual aesthetic where it looks like I'm actually doing something. This is really clever too, because if you have supersonic, it uh, essentially is going to take all your rings with the weight. So you won't essentially have supersonic because th there's this like this whole section is sinking and you have to wait for it um which it's clever because if you do have supersonic and stuff like i said um it'll just kind of take it away from you it'll be like oh yeah you you got supersonic and stuff like that you think you can essentially beat this boss and everything it depends on how many rings you have though because if you have like over a hundred rings or something like that yeah see now i don't have my super supersonic anymore so i gotta fight him fair whoa he does it like three times oh I i'm mistaken or that's okay I pretty much just trashed him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to do a stretch real quick. Oh. So, um, we got through Launch Base, got through Mushroom Hill, and we made it through Flying Battery Zone. So, I'm going to call it an episode and we will pick up, we will pick up again tomorrow in Sandopolis. So, um, there's all sorts of really awesome and spooky stuff in here. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to support my little channel and help it grow, uh, you can subscribe. A thumbs up button is also appreciated because that lets me know, Hey, you know, Casper, you're doing, you're doing pretty good. You're doing awesome. All right. You guys take care and have a great rest of your day.